Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a haul video and I had mentioned that I was going to do one in my updates video. This is going to be lots of cruise items. Not everything here is, uh, is for the cruise but most of it is and I will point that out to you or you, you can kind of tell what's for the cruise and what's not. Uh, I had booked this cruise a while back and I started shopping for it because I was so excited about going and I knew I was going to need a few things and you always want to update certain pieces. I'm not trying to buy a whole new wardrobe for this cruise but I definitely wanted to get like a couple of bathing suits and some cover-ups which you're going to see a little bit later on and uh, I also try to keep in mind that um, to get items that I'm going to wear long after the cruise is over and not to get something that's just vacation specific and not wear it again until another vacation comes up because this is my one big vacation of the year. So um, I try to find pieces that I'm going to wear after the cruise and I was going to wait to film one big haul cruise video but I just I got a lot of things already and I'm plan to get on more I plan to get more things and I'll just film another video later plus I want to do cruise related videos like what I'm bringing uh, hopefully some vlogs and things like that so let's get started the first thing is this Vanny Cream Vanny Cream Sun Vanny Cream sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 and you're definitely going to be needing this on the cruise and I thought I, I should start putting this on uh, right now because not right now but you know i should i'm gonna wear it to school to uh, work because i'm outside a lot and i can tell that i'm already starting to get a tan on my face and my arms which is the parts that are exposed uh so i thought i should start wearing that now because my skin is so sensitive uh this is the Luwaderm daily moisture lotion eye lotion every time I take a shower which is pretty much every day and this is a pretty good one and it dries not greasy at all uh, this is the same for the Nivea cream which I got for my handbag I've been into I've been washing my hands a lot more lately ever since I got sick and you know I've been going to the hospital to visit my mom or when she was in there and I just wash my hands all the time and my hands have gotten so dry uh, so I have been putting a lot more hand lotion on. This is the Sensodyne Pronamel Multi Action Toothpaste. And I had to get a new toothpaste because the one that I was currently using was creating a film in my, film in my mouth, which is totally gross. Uh, I never had problems with Crest Toothpaste, which is the brand that it was. It's The actual toothpaste is uh, Crest Pro Health. Um, and I didn't pinpoint what was going on until I real like I was just uh, de deducing what products that I was using. Uh, by process of elimination, I figured out that it was my toothpaste is what I'm trying to say. And I had to get a new one. Next, and I just chose that one because I've used it before and I really like it. And that's all there is to that story uh, next is the Burt's Bees lip shimmer in plum and this is one that I've been looking for for a long time each store that I've gone to never has it in stock and the bed bath that I went to had it in stock here is the real techniques they call it the miracle complexion sponge and I got the two pack one I'm not sure why I should have probably tried it the just the one first but I really was curious to see if this was uh, not a dupe but something similar to the original beauty blender which I really really like I just love that thing um, so I'm curious to see if this works as well because I've heard some pretty good things I also picked up I you know I haven't gotten a lot of makeup lately I've just been focusing on finishing up things that I use that I already have in my collection and the hardest thing is to finish up is eyeshadows which has nothing to do with what I'm talking about but it's just I have don't have a lot of makeup items to show you oh uh, here is from Sonia Kashuk's new collection that's out uh, this is I think roll with the punches but it's this beautiful dark deep blue and here are a pair of tweezers from Tweezerman. Now, that's probably my favorite brand of tweezers, and I've tried so many. I just feel like they really pick up um, hairs off your eyebrows. 
right? Eyebrows, yes. Um, I have, this is my old one, but it just stopped working. I've had this for so long. It just doesn't close the same anymore. And I'm wondering if I could send it back to them and they shave it down, but I did just think it's just doesn't close right anymore. So I decided to get this one and I love them. If you um, are on the fence about it, just get it because they are fantastic. Okay, I think that's all the non-beauty stuff that I want to show you. Um, next, let's start with a beach cover-up. And I got two of them. Uh, this one is by Roxy. And I got it. This is always so hard to show. Okay, here we go. So this is just a black cover-up. Really simple except for the straps, which I think make this beach cover up something a little bit more special and so that was the front and here's the back the crisscrossing on I feel like on the body is really really pretty and it's just flowy and it this is the type of it's viscose so I feel like it um when you put it on over uh, like a wet bathing suit or something it doesn't take that long to dry and it's um just a really cute beach cover up then here is one by O'Neill, and this one is this really pretty dark green blue color, and I love the crochet on the front. And again, it's just really simple, but this crochet is just a nice detail and flowy. A lot of the beach cover-ups that I have seen in stores is kind of like that, um, not moo moo to be exact, but kind of along those lines. And I just wanted something simple and, um, uh, that will, if I want to throw it over a wet bathing suit, it's not going to take forever to dry. So, um, this is just, I wore this one already and I really like it. And then for bathing suits, let me show you, where is the... So I'm more into, I don't have a lot of two pieces and um, the ones I'm going to show you first aren't two pieces, they're one piece and I just thought they were really, really cute. Uh, this one is by Profile and it looks like this, it's this gorgeous bright blue, kind of looking purple on screen but it's blue and it has a little bit of a skirt and then the ruching hides so many issues if you have any issues with your body it hides it and um, there's kind of like this braiding in the front and I think it's gorgeous a gorgeous bathing suit and then here is one by swimsuit solution swim solutions and it's kind of like this it's not that, it looks like crochet, but it's not crochet. It's, um, it opens up in the front, and I just think this is a really cute swimsuit. So I got that one. And then, if I'm brave enough and I feel more comfortable with my body, I just had to get this one. It's one of those things where you see it and you're like, I have to have it. And most of the time, I want something, but I don't... I. I don't get it because I'm like, oh, you know, but I just really like this as soon as I saw it. And so this is by Kenneth Cole. And I just love the thing that I like most about it is the shape. I think this is just a really cute shape and something different. I don't think I'll ever be comfortable wearing a true bikini. Um, so I thought I would go for something like this and the back is really pretty. Um, they had a matching bottom, but I didn't want to wear a matching suit, so I got a few different bottoms. So this one is, um, if you have, it, this is by Ann Cole, and this is, um, kind of like the vintage look as well, which is, I think that's why I like this, this, because the shape is, uh, vintage, or old school, and so I got that and then I also got this one by Ann Cole and this has fun little strings on the side and I also got this bathing suit top which is really popular I've seen this uh, in a lot of stores and in different colors and I also got those bottoms to mix and match with and be interchangeable with any type of top and then this bottom here is by Kenneth Cole as well. And it's a, just a cute little skirt, bathing suit skirt. 
And this crochet, I forgot to tell you the name. It's by Hula Honey. So those are my bathing suits that I've gotten so far. And I might possibly want to get one more. I'm not sure. I think that's what I have I'm happy with. But if I see something that I like, then I will um, get it for the cruise. Maybe another one piece. I'm not sure. Um, this is something that I got to bring to the beach. And it doesn't have to be in the cruise. I might not even bring it for the cruise because... Um, it might take up too much room, but this is a Mexican or Baja blanket and I just love the colors and I thought it would be a good idea to have for a picnic in the park or a day at the beach or uh, lay down at the pool, something like that. So I picked that up and this is by Solar Escape, this hat, it's a UV grasslands hat. And, you know, everybody worries about putting sunscreen on their face and their body, but you kind of forget the top of your head. And so I wanted to get this hat because I know my mom has one and she really likes it. And so I thought um, I would get one from Amazon, the same one she has, but she surprised me. My mom surprised me with this one and I love it. I think it's just so cute. And I'm going to put this on here. Now this string you could hide... Um, but you know, if it's windy, it keeps it on your head. Um, I just think it's really, really cute. I, I love it. And, um, it's definitely, so you could bring it down and you could tell that it blocks the sun from your eyes and it's going to protect your head. And yeah, I just really like this. So I'm glad to have it. Thank you, mommy. And then let me just, get... almost done here. Oh wait, I think that was a lie. <laughs> Sorry, Eva. Okay. <sighs> All right. I had the last few things I want to share with you on my lap here. So, I when I went to Rehoboth Beach in Delaware for spring break, there was a huge ta Tangers or Tangers outlet there. Um, and I didn't really find anything. I wasn't on really looking for something but I wanted to kind of pick something up since I was at an outlet and I at the last store which was the Gap I found these shoes and I love them I think they're just so cute I love that they're two different types of blue and they are suede but the inside um, is not suede except for the back here um, but I just think they are really cute I am going to start wearing them now but I will Ugh. I will probably bring them on the cruise with me. Not sure yet, but these are just adorable. And they had other other prints, like they had a canvas print, polka dot and a canvas. What was the other one? Was it stripes? No, it might have been just a plain. The polka dots were so cute, but I noticed that at the top of the canvas ones, they were starting to wear down. And I figured they're already worn down now. I'm not going to get them. They probably just wear down even more. And uh oh. Something is stuck on my bracelet. Okay. Which, by the way, check out this awesome bracelet, which is actually from a dress. <laughs> but I was like, I think that'll look really cool as a bracelet. Anyway, I got a couple of bandos from... This is Material Girl. And it's very hard to find bandos. If you could list below or send me a message where to find bandos, um, very much appreciated. But this is a black one. And then this is a nude one. And I don't know where I'm gonna where I'm gonna wear these. I thought for like the cruise if I'm wearing a dress and um for some reason I can't wear a bra, I thought this would be cute to put underneath it and I think they're just so cute and I don't have any bandos, so I thought I would get those. Um here. Ooh, that hat really messed up my hair. Uh, these are a pair of shorts by Tommy Hilfiger, and I am not one to, sorry, this, there's a hair in my face and you guys know I can't deal. Um, I don't, I'm a person that doesn't own many shorts, so I thought that these are a good classic go-to. Um, definitely will bring on the cruise with me, hopefully. Uh, then, here is... A dress by free people and I thought this would be really nice for the cruise maybe going into ports or just hanging out by the pool or walking around the ship 
Look at that pretty lace and the floral detail there. So just really relaxed and flowy. That's what I'm looking for cruise-wise because when we're going in July, it is going to be hot. Um, here are here is a cardigan, and I got two of them. These are from JC Penney's, and I really like this one. I'm still into kimonos. I, I said cardigan, didn't I? I meant kimonos. Um, I just think they're so easy to wear, and they dress up any outfit. So I got this one. Just love the black and the white and the blush colored in there. And there's fringe. It's very hard to find a kimono without fringe, by the way. Then this is the other one that I got. So pretty. I'm going to start wearing those as well. Uh, I mean, I'm going to start wearing all these things, but um, that I'm probably bringing on the cruise as well. Um, I got that in mind for the cruise. <coughs> Excuse me. Then here are a pair of pajama shorts, which are so cute. They're, they're elephants, and I just think they are adorable. So I got that for the cruise for sleepwear. And this is probably the top that I'm wearing. I like to wear t-shirts. And this is a Pusheen, which is a cat, a fat cat. And he's riding a scooter. I just, I had to get it. And then the last thing here is a dress. I have so many dresses I haven't worn yet, but I saw this one and I'm like, wow, that is so simple yet so pretty that I really want to wear that for one of the formal nights. So I got it. It's by Ralph Lauren. And I have, like I said, I have a lot of dresses, but I want to wear, um, there's two formal nights on my cruise and I want to wear dresses for every night for dinner. So I'm not sure if that's going to be that's going to be something that is possible, but I thought I would try to dress up every night. And so this is going to be, I believe, for one of the formal nights. It's very, very simple. It's cloth on top here or like a spandexy kind of material. Um, and then the skirt goes out and it's a satin shiny kind of thing. And then the back, it is, there's like kind of like a, a V and then you tie this bow, which is, I thought that just was something like Audrey Hepburn would wear. Um, but there's a big band right here, and the skirt goes just... It's beautiful. So I got that, and that is the end of the haul. Thank you for sticking with me. I am really happy about all the items that I got for cruise and for uh, my closet. I just... Um, I've been trying to get pieces that I know I'm going to wear, and... I like and I'll get use out of um, like I said I don't have that much makeup just because I'm trying to use up a lot of the items that I have and I've been doing pretty well I'm gonna do an empties video where I show you some of the makeup that I finished it's not a lot because I don't wear every day for work um, I don't wear that much makeup I just do basic foundation and powder and blush and mascara um, so I don't wear like some days I even go without um, I just do foundation and mis foundation and powder and blush because my allergies for my eyes. It's like the first day that I've done a full face of makeup and I'm sweating. Goodness, it's really hot in here, so I apologize for that. But I hope that you guys are really doing well. Oh, and you know what? Before I say goodbye, what I did with my drawers because it was like overflowing and stuff, I took everything out, put things back that fit, that I like into back into the drawers and everything else I brought down to the basement and I gave myself like three to six months if I don't go downstairs to get those things or if I don't miss them or I don't wear them I'm gonna donate it and there's tons of stuff down there like this huge like box full of things and I suggest that you guys do the same too for clothes that you're just keeping around for nostalgia or um in hopes of fitting into them one day um so yeah, that's what I'm doing with my clothes right now. And I really, I haven't touched those clothes, which um, is a good thing and a bad thing because I have so many clothes that I haven't touched, but I got them and I'm trying to be different about that in the future. So that is my advice for you. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are doing really well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.